Hey, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to easily create and set up your Facebook pixel. So if you are a complete beginner, you've never done this before, you don't even know what a Facebook pixel is, this video is gonna be perfect because I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step exactly how to do that and how to set that up on multiple platforms. And that's coming up right now. What's going on beautiful people? My name is Gaby Kemazee with GabyKemazee.com and welcome back to my channel. On my channel I teach internet marketing as well as everything entrepreneurship and this is a continuation of my free Facebook ads course that I'm doing here on my channel. So if you're just joining us, welcome and if you are continuing along with the course, welcome back as well. So if this is your very first time on my channel, go ahead and subscribe hit the notification button so you can get updates on videos that I do. I do new updated videos every single week, so you're not gonna wanna miss any of that. So what's the big deal with the Facebook Pixel? Like, why does it even matter and why should you get it set up? Well, if you're watching this video, you probably already know the importance of the Facebook Pixel. It allows you to track, create different events, and it gives your advertising life because it provides the data that you need in order to optimize your ads. Now, let me pause for a quick second. If you don't understand what the Facebook Pixel actually is and how it actually works, like you've heard of it, you know it's important, you're watching this video because you know you need to install it but you don't actually understand conceptually what it is I actually created a quick video that explains exactly what it is how it works it's really gonna help you out so if you want to watch that video go ahead and click up here or you can click the link down below in the description that video is really gonna help you just understand conceptually what the heck the Facebook pixel is so we've already gone over why the Facebook pixel is important it helps us to optimize our advertising and it gives us data that we need in order to see what's going on and to help us customize um, our, our advertising. There are two things that I like to also discuss with you before we actually jump into the tutorial. First thing is that you need to understand the Facebook pixel is not a hundred percent accurate and a lot of marketers especially beginners make this mistake where they think the Facebook pixel is the end-all be-all where in fact it is not. The Facebook pixel is not perfect. So with that in mind one thing that you need to keep in mind whenever you're doing advertising is that your your data that you're getting may have a little discrepancy. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be a big discrepancy, but when it comes down to getting your KPIs and figuring out your exact numbers, what I recommend doing is having some kind of third-party tracking system that you can use along with your Facebook Pixel. That's something that I recommend. Now, if you're strapped for cash and you know, you're just kind of working with what you got, the Facebook Pixel is fine. It's not gonna make or break your bank, but I just wanna let you know just so that you uh, understand that because it's just not gonna be perfect 100% of the time. The second thing that you should do with your Facebook Pixel is you need to install it everywhere, okay? Here's another mistake that people make because they think, oh, I just need to install my Facebook Pixel on like my landing page. No, you should be installing your Facebook Pixel everywhere. Where? Everywhere. If it's on your landing page, on your website, on your blog, um, anywhere that can accept the pixel code that you're using to somehow build traffic or using for your brand or your business, you know, whatever it is, if it's affiliate marketing program or a marketplace, whatever, wherever you can install your Facebook pixel, you want to install it there because the data and traffic you're getting from that source you can eventually use later you can create custom audiences and events later and you can take advantage of that data that you're collecting from these other places that you've installed your pixel code but you're not going to be able to do that if your pixel code is not installed there in the first place. So even if you don't know if you're going to use it or not, I recommend installing your Facebook pixel as many places as you can, everywhere that you can install the pixel because you want to dig the well first before you're thirsty and you can, and you'll never know how the traffic and the data that the pixel is gathering over time whether you think you're gonna use it or not can eventually help you and benefit you later on down the road. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop onto the screen share here so I can show you guys exactly how to create your Facebook Pixel if you don't already have one and how you can set it up on a bunch of other different platforms. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and set up our Pixel. Right now, I'm logged into my account on Facebook. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to facebook.com and you want to get to your 
ads manager and you can do that multiple ways if you've been watching my other videos you can do that either by going through to business.facebook.com or you can do it simply right here on your home page and how you can do that is by clicking this little arrow down on the right side and you can either go to create ads or manage ads whichever one you want to pick they both are going to lead you to the same place so once you're within your ads manager what you want to do is you want to go over here to the top left and you want to click these three lines to open up the main menu and you want to go to the measurement and reporting column and click pixels right there so I'm going to go ahead and click that Okay, and then this is gonna bring up this page here. Now, it's very easy and simple. Facebook makes it very easy and simple to create a pixel. It says right here, create a Facebook pixel. So all, and it gives you a little examples of you know what you can do your pixel, what you can use your pixel for and all that kind of stuff. So all you're gonna to have to do right here is hit this little green button that says create a pixel. Okay, so this little window is gonna pop up. It's gonna ask you to name your pixel. Now, every Facebook account has one pixel you can have multiple pixels if you're like sharing pixels and stuff I don't recommend that just keep it to one pixel because you want to build as much data as you can to that one pixel so you can name your pixel whatever you want uh, Dem Williams is actually one of the dummy accounts that I use to <laughs> uh, do these videos so name the pixel and then you can put your website or URL here it's optional if you want to do that but you can put your your blog or your website I don't recommend putting like an affiliate link or anything in there um, you can try if you if you want to but if you have something like a domain name or something that you own I recommend putting that in there and then all you got to do is hit create and then boom it's that simple that easy your Facebook pixel has been created so now once your Facebook pixel is done creating the the next step is to actually install it everywhere like I said earlier okay so there's multiple ways that you can do it they give you three options here is you can use an integration or a tag manager I don't really touch that and to be honest I don't even really know what that means <laughs> you can manually install the code yourself which I'm gonna show you how to do in this video or you can email the instructions to a developer which is great so if you're working with maybe somebody um, that's building your website or building Building whatever platform you're using you can click this third option and you can just email the instructions to that person and they can set up the Facebook pixel for you so that's the this a really simple way to do it but if you're doing it yourself if you're bootstrapping it then you can manually install the code yourself which is what we're gonna do right now so I'm gonna go ahead and click that now here's where it looks complicated but it's really simple and I'm gonna explain exactly what this all means so the first thing it says is locate the header code for your website, all right? Don't worry about all this code stuff. If you don't understand code, don't even worry about that. All you gotta do is locate the header code of your website and then you gotta copy the entire pixel code and paste it to your website header. And then you can turn on automatically advanced matching and then you can send traffic to your pixel. So these are the four different steps that you have to do to set up your pixel. First thing is locate the header code. Second thing is copy this link. You can turn on advanced matching and then send traffic to your pixel to activate it. You can see right here it says no activity yet with that little red butt or little, little red light. It just means that I haven't sent any traf traffic to my pixel yet and it's not activated. So let's go ahead and do um, the first thing first which is locate the header code for your website. Now depending on what you're using uh, you're, you might have to look up how to find the header code of your website. Now, I'm going to do this example for two different platforms. We're going to do it for ClickFunnels, which is a platform where you can build landing pages and opt-in pages, as well as a bunch of other different things. And I'm also going to do it for my website, which is actually hosted on a, a WordPress site. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop on to ClickFunnels. All right, and then I'm going to go to just any one of my funnels. All right, I'm just gonna pick this funnel here. All right, so since I'm pretty familiar with ClickFunnels, I know where to find the header code. And how I would find it is I would go to Edit Page. And if you're using ClickFunnels, you can just follow these steps here. You go to Edit Page. And then right here where it says Settings, you go to Tracking Code. And then right here where it says Header Code, this is where you're going to paste your Facebook Pixel code at, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to Facebook. Now, before you copy your code, which all you have to do is press the button to copy the entire code, 
One thing that you should do is you should turn on automatic advanced matching. This is something that a lot of beginners don't really do, but it's really it's really helpful. Um, and you can leave this, you know, leave don't touch any of that. You just want to turn on this automatic advanced matching because this changes the code of your Facebook pixel a little bit, and it just gives you, um, it just makes the pixel a little bit more accurate. Um, the type of data that it collects, it's just overall very helpful. So once you turn that on, then what you want to do is you want to copy the the code by just clicking it you should see it turn green it means it's copy to the clipboard and I'm just gonna go back to wherever I'm pasting the code and I'm just gonna paste it in here boom and that's it and then I just kind of exit out and I hit save and the pixel is set okay so that's one place to upload it here on click funnels another place that you can do it I'm just gonna go real quick and show you is if you don't want to do it on the on the exact funnel you can just upload it in general you go to settings and then right here where it says head tracking code you can put your Facebook pixel code in there too as well I'm just gonna paste it in there right and that's it I can go ahead and hit save and then now my Facebook pixel code is installed within like basically all of ClickFunnels because I have it in the main settings tab. Okay, so the next place I'm gonna show you how to install a Facebook pixel is on a, on your blog or on your website. Now I use WordPress. If you're not using WordPress, you're gonna to wanna to figure out where the heading code and stuff is. But luckily with WordPress, there's actually a very handy dandy plugin that you can use that will automate and make installing your Facebook pixel a lot simpler and easier. So let's go ahead and hop onto my website here real quick. Okay, so this is my WordPress website here, gabychemizy.com. So I'm just going to go ahead and log into the admin. Okay, so if you're using WordPress, there's a plugin that I highly recommend you download. And this plugin is called, I'm going to go to my plugins, and this plugin here is called Pixel Caffeine, right here. Pixel Caffeine. So all you just all you have to do is go into your um, you know go into your if you want to add a new plugin, click Add New, and then you can search Pixel Caffeine. Now it's already downloaded on my site here. Okay, right here. In fact, I have to update it there, but that's right here. That right here, Pixel Caffeine. So go ahead and download that plugin. Once you download this plugin. The directions are very simple. Let me see if I can show you here on the actual Pixel Caffeine Pixel um, plugin, right? So my Pixel is already integrated, okay? It's already in there, but when you download this plugin, the, the steps are very simple where you take this code, the same code that you grabbed from Facebook, and you just put it into this plugin. So see if my Facebook Pixel has already been set up, it's already connected. The really nice thing about this plugin is that it allows you to create custom audiences, create conversions and events, all that stuff very easily and you can do it throughout this this plugin, but this plugin controls the pixel for your whole website. So your entire blog, all your pages, if you have landing pages and stuff, it also will help with that as well. So it integrates your Facebook plugin throughout your entire website. Okay guys, so once your Facebook pixel is installed, whether you're doing it manually like we did in ClickFunnels and we put it in our funnel or you're using a plugin like WordPress, what you can do now is you just, all you have to do is basically load that page. You can load any pages in your website or let's say I load this page. I'm just going to uh, preview it here and it's going to pull up my pixel, okay? And now that it's activated, when I go back to Facebook and I say continue, Now this second portion is where I can create different Facebook Pixel events, okay? Now this portion I'm going to actually cover in my next video because I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create events, how to um, how to create custom audiences, all that kind of stuff I'll cover in the next video. So for now I'm just going to hit done, okay? But now when I refresh my page here, it's going to show that my Facebook pixel is now active. So you can see right here, you see that little blip there. That's what happened when I just uploaded that, uh, when I just refreshed that page. You can see right here, the status is active. I got the green light now, so I'm ready to go. So now I know that my Facebook pixel is active and even sees, shows here 
three page views okay so another um another tip guys that i would like to give you guys is how to really know if your Facebook pixel is also working besides coming here is by downloading another kind of app. It's it's a Chrome extension and it's called Pixel Helper, okay? So I'm just going to show you right here. I'm going to Google it. Pixel Helper um, Chrome extension. So it's called the Facebook Pixel Helper Chrome uh, Chrome extension. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and come here. I already have it downloaded. That's why it says remove from Chrome. But you want to go ahead and download it. Okay. What this Pixel Helper allows you to do is it allows you to basically see wherever your pixel is activated on a page. Okay. Because we can't see pixels to the naked eye, but the computer can. The um they they have the ways of, of figuring that out with the code, obviously. So as you can see here, this Facebook Pixel Helper is the same one I have up here on the top right of my Chrome window. But you can see right now it's grayed out. All that means is that currently right now I have this Facebook Pixel Helper installed and it's telling me, hey, there's no Facebook Pixel on this page that is currently active. Okay. Now, if I go to a page where my Facebook Pixel is active, it's going to, one, tell me that there is a Facebook Pixel located there, and two, it's going to tell me what events are currently being tracked by that Facebook Pixel. So let's go back to that um, landing page here where I installed my Facebook Pixel, and as you can see right here on the top right, back to the Facebook Pixel, it's colored now, so it's active, and it has a little green two there, which tells me that it's tracking two things. So what you can do is you can click that and it'll give you more detail on exactly what your Facebook pixel is tracking. So as you can see, it's tracking page view. So it's basically tracking um, whenever somebody uploads this page and views that page. And it's also t uh, tracking micro data. This is automatically going to be there. So I don't know. It should say one, but for some reason, it's going to always say two. But as you can see here, I'm tracking page view. If I go back to Facebook on my Facebook pixel, you can also see here it's tracking page view. OK, but this is also a great way to figure out exactly uh, the different custom conversions and the different um, events that your Facebook pixel is tracking. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can set up custom events. So if you want to track something like if you want to track leads, if you want to track uh, payments or when people buy, those are all custom events. OK, that's a little bit more advanced. I just wanted to show you in this particular video the, the very simple beginner steps to creating a Facebook pixel and how you can actually set it up on your different platforms. So find that next video. You can either find that in my playlist here or I click the link down in the description below to learn how you can use your Facebook pixel and create customized events and conversions to help you track a wide range of different things. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Like this video, leave any comments or questions that you have down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you guys out because um, I know this Facebook pixel stuff can be kind of complicated. By the way, like I said earlier, if you want just some general understanding on what exactly the Facebook pixel is and how it does what it does, check out that video. I'll put the video up here or I'll put it in the description um, down as well so that you can understand what is going on and it just makes you more clear about what the pixel does and so when you're setting it up you understand which what you're doing and, and how it all works and make sure you check out the next video where you can see some more advanced things on how to set up custom events guys if you have not subscribed to my channel yet feel free to do so and also feel free to download my 10 Facebook ads copy cheat sheet I'll put it down in the description below as well where I go over 10 secrets that you can use to create copy for your Facebook ads that is actually effective and actually convert okay because your copy what you're writing in your ads that plays a big deal on whether they work or not you know once you understand your target audience and have something that you're selling it's the messaging that plays a big portion in getting people to see your ad actually pay attention to an action and purchase your product or sign up or, or whatever you want them to do so download that free Facebook ads copy cheat sheet if you haven't already if you guys are joining me with the free Facebook ads course you can go on to the next section here and if not I'll catch you guys on the next video appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching and you guys have an amazing day